the throw again. Uh, over the middle. A man wide open, and it's Harrison Bryant. Touchdown, FAU. Robinson to his tight end. Bryant bounces off one and into the end zone. He's going to go to the air this time. Over the middle. Has Bryant wide open. Bryant inside the 30. Cuts back. Harrison Bryant is showing off. Welcome back into Tape Don't Lie. See Mark's joining me again, and we're going to get to a guy that I know you really like, Harrison Bryant. Yeah, you know, I had a chance to really watch this kid and evaluate it, and he's one of the more intriguing players in this entire draft, regardless of position. Sure. He's a kid that comes from a small town in Georgia. He goes down to FAU, and my sense from talking to people close in the building is that he didn't realize how good he could be. I mean, right. you're talking about a guy that comes in, he's big, he's long, he's athletic, he can run, but yeah, he didn't know how good he could be at the tight end position, so they just found him more and more intriguing. This is a kid that's had a tremendous season. He's probably helped himself more than any other tight end in the country in terms of the eyes of the scouts. He's one of the most intriguing players in their entire draft board. Uh, screw the tight end. He's, he helped himself <laughs> more than almost any player in this NFL draft. Over 1,000 yards receiving from the tight end spot. Those are big numbers. Well, yeah, and I think he, he just is starting to come into his body type. I mean, you'll see a guy like that who's very aggressive at the position, and you got to remind yourself, this guy's 6'5", 240. Yep. And just to give you an idea, I love Bryson Hopkins. I was on him, too. Yep. But Harrison Bryant, just over the course of the season, separated, I think, from these guys, which is why I have so much love for the player. And I know we talked about it with Hunter Bryant, the focus, but in the, just in the picture, right, you get to see eyes up, hands up. you got the little triangle right there. Like, this guy's doing all the little things in addition to making big plays. He is someone that... I really like to watch his game, and I'm glad we're going to get into it. No, you have a daughter, Felder. A lot of the scouts say, I mean, this is the type of kid you want to date your daughter. Okay. He does everything the right way. They love his character, love his integrity, and that's why he was so loved down there. Yeah, so let's let's roll the tape. One, we got him right here. He's number three. Look at the way he wins off the line in this. And I made sure to go and look, double up. <laughs> I wanted to make sure and look this up. That is a defensive back, okay? <laughs> That's not a linebacker. That is a defensive back, and he wins off the line so easily. Watch his route content. Watch how he stacks the defender. Then he squeezes him, gets on top of him. So there, now there's nowhere for him to make the play, and then he attacks the ball in the air. This is what I love. This is a great shot. Let me yes. show you this detail, Felder. Watch the defensive back's foot. It's going to go out. And that's all he Oops. needs. When that foot goes out like that, then it allows Bryant to get on top of him. And then you saw at the stem, the top of the route, you're going to see a nice little subtle push off. That tells me this guy's very well coached, and he also has great IQ for what he's doing at the position. Watch it right here. The little subtle push off, get separation. Yep. And now you go up, you attack the ball in the air like a rebound in basketball, an outstanding play. Because the reality was, if it's a good ball that's out in front, he, they just, the, de the defensive back has no chance. For sure. And you mentioned his route running. I love this one. So when you look at this, Seymour, look at the way that he put that subtle push inside to move those hips so that he can get outside and get a first down. Yeah, you're talking the top of the stem right there. Boom. Let me drive him inside, and what I love, it's really this is just a post corner, but he flattens it out. He's smart enough to come right back down the line because he knows where the first down marker is. So this is a kid, we talked about football aptitude. We know he's very book smart. This is a kid that knows exactly what he's doing. He screws the defender in the ground, as you pointed out, but also look at the extension on the catch. Yeah. Now he's giving his quarterback a bigger target and bigger catch radius. Use that length. And here's the part. He's a slim guy from looking at him. But then you get to see, you do realize he's got some power to his game. And that's why I wanted to put this one on here. The way that he powers into the end zone. Yeah, you see toughness. And that's what you want to measure. As you indicated, all this is is it's just a quick slant here. So he gets on top. Now he's playing basketball. And then watch the finish. Go. To run through three defenders and get the ball in the end zone, that shows you the determination this kid has. The ability, to to catch this ball, protect it with his body, knowing he's going into traffic. Look at the way he doesn't go. He doesn't catch it like this. He goes up, ca catches it with his mm -hmm. hands, but he turns his whole body so that he can protect that football from the oncoming hit. Well, I that's, think that's great. That's what you see on him. The kid can catch it in a crowd, and that's what you want because we talked about having strong hands. We said that with Hunter Bryant. We see it also with Harrison Bryant. Yeah, and then we get a little double move here, and this is... That's nasty. Oh, the That's setup nasty. on that one. And then again, fearless. And I think this is something that guys should get credit for when they do it. Listen, there's two defensive backs. Love nothing more than to see a guy up in the air like that. Let's go. Let's go get that kill shot. And he's he knows it could come, 
The guy misses, obviously, but he knows it could come, and he's still going up there to get this football. Well, and just like we talked about with Hunter Bryant, having the route detail, he sits down the defender oh, on yeah. that double move. Same Ooh. thing we saw earlier, but he sits him all the way down. Then he creates the separation, and as you indicated, the best thing about this play is the way he attacks the ball. This kid plays a game with physicality. He it. plays it with toughness and temerity, and he's everything that people look for. This is those type plays. That's why this kid's blazing up the board. Yeah, he and he should be because he is so talented. He is so he's so fast, mm -hmm. which is something I don't think enough people are going to mention. Which is why I'm excited again to see him at the combine. Sure. Go get out there on the track. But he's so fast. He's so strong, and even though he looks lean. The reality is that there's a lot of power behind those packs. Well, and I just think with him, now you got a guy with ideal type size and disposition, right? right? So, and it really kind of reminds me of Travis Kelsey when he came out of Cincinnati. This guy's a very skilled blocker, and he plays the game with complete toughness and tenacity. Look at that. Johnny Smith on that list, obviously. Stud. Sean Nelson's on that list. Uh, Harrison Bryant is, is the leader, though, in terms of receiving yards. Obviously not as many touchdowns as Charles Clay, but he was able to consistently be a target for that that Al squadron and just the way that he plays the way that he kind of flashed onto the scene and you mentioned it right he didn't know how good he could even be and we got to see that every single week he just went out there and balled you know he's got tremendous upside so that's what you love at the next level this guy's not going to flatten out he's going to get better you know, there's some things he's got to work sure. at, but let's, he is a very solid player all so, around. So let's get to that. We've got him in line as a tight end, and what you're going to see, and this is one of those things, and we talked about it with Hunter Bryant, right? Yep. You get a good engage on the, on the, at the top, but then that's your guy making the tackle. Exactly right. So if we want to be fair uh, and call it like <laughs> we see it, he's got to do a much better. Now, I do think if you juxtapose the two, this guy plays with more physicalness sure. and toughness in the blocking game. You don't see it necessarily in this play because right. he's got to sustain and hold this much longer. He's also looking back when he should yes. be driving through the <laughs> defender. So uh, that's where he's got to continue to develop. But like I said, there's no physical issues. He's not a finesse player like I think Hunter Bryan is. No, and I think that's the key, too. I th I'm glad you mentioned that he was looking back. He's like, where's the play happening? <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the thing. But I know that he wants to block, and I think yes. that's the big key for him. I love guys that want to block, and it's a matter of just getting it done. This one right here, um, same situation, right? I think he's, there's some confusion on what he should be doing, mm. and then ultimately, obviously, things don't go great for him. But I think the key for him is we're seeing the want to, right? We see that, but I just think now it's all about directing those skills. Well, and as you say, things don't grow great. This is not what you want scouts to see. I mean, this is the stuff that you just can't have – on tape. The eye in the sky don't lie. People gonna wonder now they see this. Because not only that, but you're getting just mushed. You're yeah. getting mushed to the ground. That's gonna have a little cause for pause when scouts are looking at him. But here's what I love. In line, right? He's not yeah. the wing. He's in line. Let's go. He digs that guy out and he puts him on his back. That is what I that's what I like about him. He can I know he can do that. Like it's all and I think he's better in line blocking guys that are directly in front of him than trying to block a guy that's off the line when he's in line. But here's the rub. This is Charlotte now. So you got a little bit of a projection on this kid. Now that's a great play. Yeah. That is a dominant play. That's a win. But will he do that against a guy from Alabama? Will he do that against a guy from Ohio State? I think that's where you have some of the projection. Now, he was in the senior bowl, and I think that helped this kid to build some yes. equity with scouts. Well, talk a little bit more about that. What did you, from, the, from a senior bowl standpoint, what did you like? I like the way he moved around. I like the way he caught the ball. I just think that in today's game in the NFL, you need a guy like this that can beat these linebackers, beat these safeties, you know, kind of like Zach Ertz, kind of like Travis Kelsey when you look right. at him. You go even further back, Dallas Clark when he comes out of Iowa. That's who this kid kind of reminds me of. He can do it in both phases. I want to see him more consistent as a blocker, but I love what he brings to the, to the pass game. Yeah, I think for me, consistency, yes, as a blocker, I think that – Honestly, the skill set of being able to do a little bit more blocking in space. I think that's where we see him kind of not be certain of what he's supposed to be doing in terms of technique, but also in terms of who he's blocking. Yeah, that, that, was, that gave me a little bit of concern watching the tape, and I'm glad you pointed that out because it did seem like he didn't know exactly. He wasn't right. going in there with conviction. Bingo. He was still figuring it out on the go.